here are the Halloween kills ranked point wise. I already did my review on the movie. I already did the kills ranked in my own opinion. That was subjectively, this is objectively. So we're looking at how bloody the kill is, how believable the kill is, how creative the kill is, how surprising the kill is, and how scary the kill is. And each category can get from zero to five points. So there are five kills. Coming in at number five is Linda. Strangled with phone cord, zero points for how bloody it is. Uh, five points for how believable it is, because of course that would kill her. Zero points for how creative it is, two points for how surprising it is, two points for how scary it is. It was kind of scary. So Linda comes out to a total of nine points at number five. Number four is Annie. Uh, Annie Brackett, strangled slash throat slit. One point for how bloody it is, there's a little blood. Five points for how bloody or believable it is, of course that would kill her. Zero points for how creative it is. It's not creative at all. One point for how surprising it is. And three points for how scary it is. It was pretty scary. So Annie comes out to a total of uh, ten points at number four. Number three is The Mechanic. This was actually my least favorite kill of the movie. Now it's at number three. Uh, I don't even know what happens to him. Two points for how bloody it is, because there's some blood on his shirt. Five points for how believable it is. Zero points for how creative it is. Two points for how surprising it is. Two points for how scary it is. It was kind of scary to see the body. So, the mechanic comes out to a total of 11 points at number three. Number two is Bob. This was actually my favorite kill of the movie. My number one and number two actually flip-flopped on this list. So, Bob gets stabbed through the chest and, like, hung on the door. Hanged up on the door by the knife. So zero points for how cre or how bloody it is. You don't see any blood. Five points for how believable it is because stabbed through the chest. Of course, that would kill him. Zero points for how creative it is. A stabbing that's not creative at all. Three points for how surprising it is. Four points for how scary it is. So Bob comes out to a total of twelve points at number two. But the number one best most pointed kill of Halloween is Judith Myers. First kill of the movie. Stabbed nine times while Michael Myers looks at his knife for some reason. Uh, two points for how bloody it is. There's some blood when you see the body. Five points for how believable it is. Zero points for how creative it is. Uh, it's just a stabbing. Um, uh, three points for how surprising it is. It was pretty surprising, uh, especially with the reveal that... Uh, it was her brother, and he was six years old. And then three points for how scary it is. Uh, pretty scary, especially with those two reveals, brother and six years old. Uh, so, Judith Myers comes out to a total of 13 points as the best most pointed Halloween kill of the movie. This is actually one of very few first-time movies. This is actually one of very few... Uh, movies where where the first movie in a franchise doesn't it's probably not going to have a kill on the top ten because the first movie in every horror franchise has at least one, if not even two movies that would instantly go on the top ten. But Halloween really doesn't, and Halloween really doesn't have any kills that I would really put on my top ten. But with that being said, Judith Myers comes out as the number one best, most pointed uh, Halloween kill with 13 points. Thanks for watching.